So in the last session we talked about the methods of depreciation, ordinary depreciation, special depreciation and unplanned depreciation. Now we'll talk about the depreci value depreciation key. So depreciation key is an important thing you know which helps in calculation of depreciation and all it contains a lot of things behind the scenes like method of depreciation, percentage, any scrap value, any changeover method. It contains a lot of things. So we will get into detail of everything. So number one is the calculation method. So there are multiple methods for the depreciation. So the first one is the base method. So base method is normally the one which is supplied by standard SAP and it caters to most of the requirement across the globe. So these are the base methods. You can create custom but most of them meet the requirement. So let's see what it is it does it means actually. Base method sum of year met digits. So number one it tells us what type of depreciation is it. It's an ordinary depreciation or special depreciation or tax depreciation. Then we have method. Which method it is? Percentage from calculation from useful life, total percentage, stated percentage. For example here we have Japan and Korea declining method over total life. It is for Japan. And there are multiple methods. And then we have treatment at the end of depreciation. Depreciation after planned life ends. So when the life of the assets end, whether you want to charge depreciation or not, then you say no. You can change it. Depreciation after netbook value is zero. There is no sense of having netbook value zero and then we are charging depreciation. It is not recommended or not the right accounting practice. Similarly, let's see one more. What does it talk about? Same thing, different method. No automatic calculation. So these are all base methods. So most of them are applied by standard SAP. Then we go to declining method. Let's understand what it is. So the, in the step you define declining balance method then you assign to the depreciation key. So the maintain declining balance method and the description for each declining method specify multiplication factor for determining the depreciation percentage rate and upper limit of the depreciation percentage rate and the lower limit of the depreciation percentage rate. Okay. So let's get into the calculation. So there we have declining balance method. Value into percentage divided by percentage. For each declining method specify multiplication factor for determining depreciation percentage rate. How much percentage? The upper limit of the depreciation and the lower limit of the depreciation percentage. We select one and we check usage. You see most of the tax methods are using declining methods. All to mean makers, acres.
ten percent, then we have five percent, then two point five percent. So it basically reduces by the passage of time. Then we have maximum amount method. In this step, you define maximum amount method. You then assign to depreciation key. The calculation contains the maximum depreciation amount that is not allowed to be exceeded before certain calendar date. If the depreciation calculated by the system exceeds the maximum amount, then system reduces the depreciation to the maximum amount. So you tell system, okay, ten thousand is my total depreciation for this year, and then if system calculate the depreciation for more than ten thousand, let's say system calculates eleven thousand for twenty sixteen, then system will automatically reduce the depreciation to ten thousand. You can specify how the maximum amount applies within the time period specified. It can either apply to an individual year or to an AD. Maintain the maximum amount method in the description. Also, if specify if maximum amount applies to annual depreciation or to AD. So it can also to apply to the entire life of the asset. So you can tell system, okay, the entire AD of this asset should should be eight thousand dollar. The moment it is eight thousand, system will stop calculating. For each maximum amount, maximum amount you have to specify the currency and date up to maximum amount which is it valid. So this is very important method, you know, very very widely used. So try to understand this in detail. You have to specify maximum amount of depreciation, and you can amount different define it at two levels. Number one yearly, number two the total AD of the asset. If it is yearly, the system will put a cap at the year end. If it is AD, system will put the cap at the total value. Let's see how can we define that. So this is an example of Thailand. Maximum base value of the car for Thailand. So the valid up to thirty one twelve nine 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 nine, which means. This is valid for the AD. Or if it is annual, so let's make one new entry. We say maximum amount A is zero, and we say annual maximum. Amount for a zero buildings. Now I select this, and then I make a new entry here. So I will say valid to. Thirty one twelve twenty sixteen currency USD maximum amount ninety thousand. Okay, so I created a method AA zero currency USD and I said. By thirty one twelve twenty sixteen, ninety thousand should be the maximum. This is what my requirement is. And this is annual. So if you just see here, I have tell told system this is annual on an annual basis. So every time my annual this year twenty sixteen, my annual depreciation should not. Reach should not cross nine thousand. The moment it cross nine, sorry, ninety thousand. The moment it cross ninety thousand, you reduce it to ninety thousand. If it is ninety five by system calculation, system will reduce it to nine ninety thousand automatically. Next. 
नेक्स्ट वन इज द मल्टी लेवल मेथड इन दिस स्टेप यू डिफाइन मल्टी लेवल मेथड यू देन असाइन दम टू डेप्रीसिएशन कीज ईच लेवल रिप्रेजेंट द वैलिडिटी पीरियड फॉर द गिवन परसेंटेज रेट maintain a multi level method and a description and enter the characteristics of the multi level method so this is specifically used for tax they say for first 5 years i want this percentage the next 5 years i want this percentage or next 3 years so that's multi level you know the percent percentage change at the as we move on so let's see this one acquisition year anything first year calculate 11% second year calculate 10% third year calculate 9% then reduce it to till 5 years calculate 7% and from 5 to 10 calculate 7% every year and the moment it is 10 calculate 6% and till 14th year calculate 6% and 15th year calculate 5% okay try to read this table again first year 11 second year 10 third year it is reducing but after fifth year it continues to have for next 5 years as 7% and after 10 years it continues to be for 5 years it continues to be 6% and then at 15 year it comes to 5% okay so this is multi level method so i'll open one more another example so for first 7 years every year it will reduce then from 7 to 15 it will be 6% in 15th year it would be 5% and then in 16th year it would be 3% and what is this tick set this indicator if you want system to determine the periodic depreciation posting based on useful life This indicator only makes sense for debt keys in which the base method used is percentage from useful life. So, if you make the strict system based system will calculate the depreciation based on the useful life of the asset. So, this is that's what it says. It makes sense where you know the base method is percentage from useful life method. So, we'll not take this. So, there are a lot of and what is this? validity start when you want to start the validity of this all this calculations so my server connection gone let's wait for a minute so two means from ordinary start depth start date so normally you know 
So let me give you the explanation of these one, two, three, four, and five. So one is from cap date. So you cap you capitalize the asset. I don't know what's happening. So one means from cap date. For example, you know, if the capitalization of the date asset is, is 1st April, okay, it is not always necessary that you start the depreciation in the same month. So depreciation might start from let's say first first May based on your method, right? It can be first May. So then you have to determine tell system that you know all these logics of method when they want to apply. They want to start from These, one, these logics want to start from cap date, from ordinary depreciation start date, or from when it is an AUC, from original acquisition of AUC, the moment first cap date AUC gets settled, or from the changeover year. Changeover is something like, you know, you change the method of the depreciation. Let's say for five years, you use straight line, and then in the sixth year, you use another method. So from change over here is something, you know, you change the method. So based on this logic, you tell system that, you know, all these methods calculation, all these years, one, two, three, four, five, we just saw from where you want to apply. For example, this one, let's take a one example. Sorry, levels. So this year one, when should system understand that this is year one. So whether from the cap date, from the depreciation start date, from the first acquisition of AUC, when should system t understand? So that's a validity. Okay. Okay. 